Hey there, it's Jazz. So in this video, I'm going to be breaking down the top four high paying associate degrees. Now, I did go to college and I did go to community college. I did go to a private and public university. So I have a little insight of what exactly each career is that I'm about to present to you. Now, I will say that uh, going and getting your associate degrees is way cheaper than going to a traditional uh, university. And I'm going to prove it to you. As you can see, the community college uh, per credit hour college cost $93 versus the university charges $559 per credit hour. That's a huge difference because per class, traditionally a community college class will cost you $365 versus going to a traditional university will be $1,677. That's such a huge difference. That's $1,300 more to go to university or get yourself a uh, traditional class. Now, I do want to say that getting your associate degree, not only will you be able to knock out your prereqs, but you will be able to get that general education. So let's say that at the moment you don't know exactly what you want to do as a career, which is fine because there is no time stamp on what career you should actually do. And it's a strong power move to be able to change your mind whenever you want. So don't feel the pressure of I'm feeling lost or I don't know what to do, what to do with a career because with this you're able to get a good job on top of that if you end up wanting to change your career at least you have a job that is able to pay your bills while you go after your dreams and that's how I look at it everyone has a different opinion on it so with that being said not only is it going to be cheaper but you have the opportunity to get experience be able to have a good job even if you end up loving that job, you can always go ahead and get your bachelor's while you are working. On top of that, if you go to community college, you have the opportunity to get help from FAFSA. Um, so to me, getting your associate's degree is such a power move. Now, I will say that there are so many different other uh, associate degrees that do pay good. So these are just what I've been able to see that you're able to actually get into and make a good living. Now, if you are new to the channel, I do focus on making, saving, and growing your money. And I would be extremely grateful if you subscribed and hit the like button if I end up bringing you any value. With that being said, let's get to the first one, which is air traffic control. And according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, the median pay in 2020 was 130,000 for 120. Now exactly how much are you getting paid per hour? $62 and 70 cents per hour to work as an air traffic controller. Now, what exactly do they do? Well, you most likely don't see them because they are in the towers. If you've ever been on an airplane, you will see those towers and they are the ones communicating with the pilots or anyone on ground that have any control over the aircraft. They're the ones uh, communicating with the pilots, the gr grounds crew, any uh, personnel that is coordinating the aircraft itself. Uh, they are basically in contact with the pilots at all time, making sure that they are monitoring everything that uh, they're going through the routes that they're supposed to and the thing here is that it is a little stressful because sometimes some aircrafts are coming at the same time they're the ones who are basically uh, uh, responsible for any potential hazards the flight patterns so if you're someone who can't handle stress this is such a uh, thrilling but yet a uh, responsible job so it does take two years for you to actually get this degree now of course you can go ahead and go back to school and go and get a higher degree become a pilot but this is such a great way for you to start and making some money now like I said their job is very stressful and one of the things that, you, that does stick out with this job is that you have to be able to concentrate um, because it requires you to be focused and at all time because you are the one who is responsible for everyone that is basically with the aircraft. Now they do work during the night, the weekend, and they can rotate through ships. Uh, so that is very much common. Now the one thing that you do need is some strong eyesight uh, and color vision because you do want to be able to see the orange cones, be able to see uh, the different airplanes from far. Also the ability to concentrate for a long period of time, be able to have some problem solving skills, um, so good awareness and good concentration, um, and of course, excellent communication and team working skills because not only will you be talking to the pilots, but also the crew on ground, making sure that everyone is working together and being as efficient as possible. Have you ever saw someone or heard someone be a air traffic controller? No, so it's a pretty good uh, job to talk about. And 
I'm pretty sure that you can find some joy into this. And if you end up not liking it, you can always go back to school and use this as a way to pay your bills while you are f furthering your education. Um, this is just a way for you to get started. Um, sometimes you end up loving it. What if you end up loving it and you want to become a pilot? So hopefully I'll be able to bring you value with that one. With that being said, let's get to the second one, which is radiation therapist. Now, according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, the minimum pay in 2020 was 86850 That's $41.76 per hour. Um, if here in Arizona, the minimum wage is $11.50. So working at McDonald's, you, you pay, you get paid $11. Um, uh, so basically if you go and get your associates for two years, uh, you're able to boost by $30, um, by doing this. So it's pretty cool. Um, what exactly do they do? Well, they do treat, uh, cancer and other diseases in patients by, of course, administrating radiation, uh, treatments on them. So, uh, if you are someone who always wanted to work in the healthcare, but you didn't want to become a doctor because it's like a long, long career, uh, this is such a great way for you to go ahead into the healthcare industry, uh, get a little taste of it. And of course, like I said, you can further your education, uh, you can use this to pay your bills and get your bachelor's, maybe become a nurse uh, or maybe even um, um, become a doctor or look at other careers in the healthcare center and be able to get more money, right? That's the whole goal here is for you to find something that you're passionate about and continuously grow financially. So what exactly and where do they work? Uh, well, it depends. Uh, sometimes they work in the hospital clinics, uh, nursing homes, um, but they have similar schedules to nurses. Now I will say they do get long shifts. Now it does depend on whether you work at the hospital or a clinic. Now I do want you to keep in mind that the one main skill that you really do need with uh, becoming a radiation therapist is being able to have good communication skills, be empathetic, uh, and being able to work under pressure because you will be working with patients who are going through some sort of uh, crisis in their life, whether it's cancer or any type of disease, and you need to be able to be there for them emotionally because they do struggle with their own things and, and it's their life on their line. So if you are someone who can't deal with that pressure, um, even though you will be getting a good pay, this is something that um, you're going to have to go through. Uh, but with that being said, uh, let's go to the third one, which is a pretty cool job if you ask me. It's a nuclear uh, technician. And according to the Bureau of Statistics, the median pay for this job is $84 $84, $84,190, and they get paid $40.48 per hour. Now, what exactly do they do? Well, their main focus is, of course, to work in nuclear energy production, but your job has a range of working in different areas. It all depends on what you want to do. You can either work with other scientists who need your help, or you can work with engineers or other professionals in uh, nuclear research, which is pretty cool because you get to also work in the military if that is something that you want to do. Uh, they also operate with special equipment. Um, uh, I know for a fact that you kind of need to be able to continuously learn because you will be working with people who are in research, who are trying to discover new um, ways to do things, whether that is in production and creating um, uh, cars or nuclear weapons or all that good jazz or working with the government itself. So if you're someone who wants to further your education or further your income, this is a good way for you to get started in that area, especially if you want to become an engineer. Uh, this can help you get paid and of course, be able to see different types of um, career paths that you can take. Now, you can either work at nuclear energy facilities, uh, nuclear research laboratories, or other locations with radiation, um, or even make nuclear material that are needed in different areas. So like I said, you have different types of uh, career paths that you can take. Um, you can also be uh, located in different states. So if you are someone who loves to travel, you have the opportunity to uh, get an increase in pay and move into different states if that is something that you're interested in especially if you're young. Uh, you can also work with uh, radiation contamination, monitor equipment, uh, nuclear experiments. Uh, so there's really no uh, one fits, uh, one box fits all in this career. It all depends on 
what you're interested in. So if you are someone who doesn't know what they want to do yet, uh, you can go ahead and experience different types of career paths, which is something that I wanted to do when I was younger. I didn't really know what I wanted to do. And here I am. I love business. I love everything that has to do with business. Um, I love growing and I love how you have to continuously change. And that's why I am in my career. But you have the opportunity to go ahead and change your career as well and not stay stagnant into one, um, which is pretty cool. Now, this like uh, career does offer different types of workplaces. So if you're someone who wants to continuously grow, like I said, this is such a great job to get into. Um, the job stress is low, uh, meaning on um, the pressure, but it does create a good life balance. Um, but just know that you do have to have a growth mindset. Uh, so if that is something that you don't want to do, you won't be happy because if you want a like accounting schedule, like if you want to be like an accountant, like where it's all like black and white, you just get it's not like that. You have to continuously learn. Um, so if that is something that you're interested in, I would 100% recommend this associate degree. Now number four, which is the dental hygienist. Um, and now this one, I'm pretty sure you've heard of it before. Now, according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, the medium pay in 2020 was $77,090 per year. That is $37.06 per hour. Now, many people, uh, I've experienced people badge dental hygienist like oh that's such an easy job why are you getting everyone is in in this career but like i said this is an opportunity for you to get an associate's degree get a good paying job while going after your dreams let's say you want to become a rapper and this is a way based on um there's so many different maybe you're an artist you love painting this is a job that allows you to work a nine to five job, get paid and, and pay your bills, and even use that extra cash to fund your dream. Um, for you to go into an associate's degree, you can either fall in love with it or use it as a uh, way to just for the uh, temporarily until you're able to actually uh, do what you want and get paid for what you like desire. Um, so now exactly what what do they do? Uh, pretty straightforward. You're going to be, of course, working with patients orally, taking care of them, doing uh, dental x-rays, cleaning their teeth, inspect for any oral diseases, uh, administrate fluoride. And like um, uh, also, I've also seen that they also work with uh, payments. So they like help you with your insurance and like do any of the payment plans. Um, they do work very good with dentists. So if you thought about becoming a dentist, but you're not 100% sure, this is a good way to actually see what they do and if, if you're interested in moving forward. Um, uh, if not, that's okay. Like I said, you can always use this as a general uh, prereq for you to get a bachelor's degree in something else. And I'm gonna tell you a little secret. Uh, when I was going to college, I actually was going for uh, pre-med. I was doing neuroscience um, at U of A. I went for about two or three years. And one thing that I will say is that I was able to switch my career straight to business. And it's two different, two different careers. But I was still able to do it because I was able to do my prereqs for business, even though it's two different careers, your English 101, um, all that good jazz. So don't worry about switching your careers. I switched, I was like, I was extreme. Medical to business. Like it's like, uh, and I'm, I'm just kind of reminding you this constantly because I know and I've been there on how much pressure it is to get your life together and know exactly what you want in life. Um, because like you get the pressure of society, you get the pressure of your parents. Um, so I'm just telling you that if you feel lost, don't worry about it. Um, uh, just keep moving forward and keep experiencing different things. Your strength is being able to change your mind. Don't let anyone uh, bring you down because uh, they're just scared of change and you are not. And it's very scary to change. Um, so that's pretty much it uh, when it comes to the top four high paying associate degrees. And hopefully I was able to bring you value. And if I did, please hit the like button, subscribe 
for more of these types of videos because it does take me a while to do the research and bring you as much value as possible but i want to bring you value so go ahead and let me know what you want to uh, see next in the comments uh give me some feedback it would really help my uh, youtube channel to be able to continuously make more videos for you based on what you want to see go follow me on tiktok at me.jasmine go follow me on instagram at jasmine bautista um and with that being said always remember to be someone that makes you happy